Everybody, Rowan Smith here, Mount Bushcrafters Alliance. Finalized the outriggers on my kayak. Stay around, let's see what we got. Okay, here we go. Now, for those of you that don't know, I'm going to show you what the modifications were and the tweaking that I had to do to get to this point to the final product. When I bought this kayak, it was long before my knee surgery, this kayak was not intended to stand up on. This kayak's just nine foot long, 36 inches wide. It's a sit on top of it, it's not a stand up kayak. Well, since the knee surgery, I wanted to be able to maneuver around safely on this kayak. And the only way I knew to do that without buying another kayak was to modify my existing kayak without riggers. So here we go, everything's scheduled 40 PVC, four inch foam field, I turned these out of white walnut. They've got an inch lip on the inside of the PVC. Everything's sealed. Everything's waterproofed. My main beam bracing, this one, has aluminum tubing inside of the PVC as well as the back bracing has aluminum tubing. In the initial test run of the buoys, I couldn't turn the kayak over, but I had a lot of slack right here because that was the only anchor point to the buoys. They would raise up, raise up. So I knew I had to anchor, brace the backside of the buoys. Okay? So what I had done, there's pre-existing quarter 20 mold thread inside of here, inside the kayak. I just anchor to it with a flat bar, drilled my holes, ran bolts through the flat bar. Everything is tapped and glued. I've got my lacy cart underneath the kayak. I don't have to take these buoys off. The only time I need to take these buoys off now is for winter storage. And to do that, all I have to do is pull the pins, unbolt it, they come right off. But other than that, they're going to remain right there on the kayak. I can pick up the whole backside of this kayak with the backside of these buoys. Super, super stable. This will allow me to load this thing down, use my lacy cart, pull it down to the water, Put it right straight in the water, put my lacy cart in the back behind the kayak, and strap it down. All my gear will go in the, the cart. But I'm super satisfied with the way this has turned out. Well pleased. Well pleased. But the real test will come when we put this thing in the water. And my intentions are is to go live once again at Cannon Creek using the lacy cart loaded gear all the goodies and amenities and see how the outriggers work now i used a lift assist made a lift assist in the center of the kayak which works phenomenal i've got my pole holders my my gopro mount this is the finished final product I'm well satisfied with it. Super strong, super sturdy. The outriggers, the PVC, they add probably five pounds to the total of the whole of the kayak. Weight. So, I'm all good. All I need, I've got it bungeed on. All I need now is just a pull strap, which I had and cannot find. <laughs> But, uh, easy, 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 wonderful, wonderful, love it, love it, love it, but that's the outriggers, 
super, super strong, super sturdy. I mean, look at this. You don't have to worry about that. That's going nowhere. But, uh, that's the modification on my nine foot kayak. This will allow me to stand up and get the pressure off my knees, maneuver around the boat safely without worrying about tipping over. But uh, if you like this video, if this video has helped you, give it a thumbs up. If you've not subscribed, please consider doing so. Hit that notification bell. Because the next time you see this kayak, we'll be on the water. But this is Roll Smith Mountain Bushcrafters Lights. Go farther, stay longer. I'll catch you out in the field.